can remember very little about this TV series. It's well lost in the mists of time, but then again, it's not the series that was actually scary. It's hard to believe, but I know for a fact that myself and other children were terrified not by the content, but by the music that played at the start. Want to hear more? Then watch, or maybe listen on. Picture Box wasn't a fictional series or anything like that. It wasn't even mainstream TV. It was one of those schools and colleges programs that maybe you saw if you were off school for ill for the day while sipping on some LucasAid, or maybe you were lucky enough to go home for your lunch. The opening credits had an ornate red-lined glass jewellery box which revolved slowly on a pedestal to music that sounded like a very eerie merry-go-round from your worst nightmare. The main programme consisted of some grainy short videos taken from around the world and presented in the main by a softly spoken gentleman called Alan Rothwell. And to be honest, I really cannot remember any Hello. details of the programme. It's no totally forgettable. Program but despite this, the programme ran from 1966 to 1993, a total of 28 years, 475 episodes, of which Alan Rothwell presented 384. It should be noted too that 53 of the later episodes were directed by Adrian Headley of Jigsaw and Nosybonk fame and see my early video for more of that. Believe it or not, I can actually remember screaming at the TV when this came on and begging my mum to turn it off. And even now that music still sends a shudder down my spine. The music was played on an instrument called a glass organ or glass harmonica, as shown here. And this was invented in 1791 by Benjamin Franklin. Now this works in a very similar way to the tone played on a wet wine glass. The theme tune the show is mainly remembered for was called Menage by the Vachet brothers. Now, you may laugh at the notion that merely the tune played on an instrument should provoke fear into the children of the 1970s. But over the years after its invention, some disturbing events began to be associated with the glass harmonica. Some harmonica players became ill and had to stop playing the instrument. They complained of muscle spasms, nervousness, cramps and dizziness. A few listeners were subject to ill effects after an incident in Germany where a child died during a performance. The instrument was banned in some towns. Some people thought it was the high-pitched ethereal tones that evoked the spirits of the dead and had magical powers or drove other listeners mad. Others thought that the lead from the crystal bowls or paint was absorbed into the musician's fingers when they touched the glass, causing sickness. Although, of course, there's no proof to any of this. The box itself is just an antique French jewellery box, and as you can see here, there's plenty available for sale on Etsy. Alan Rothwell is one of those people from your childhood. You know the face, but never the name. Born in 1937, he had a massive career from the 1960s right up to the present day. He appeared as David Barlow in Coronation Street and as a heroin addict Nicholas Black in Brookside. As the show's run came to an end, a variety of other presenters appeared in place of Alan Rothwell, the most notable being actor, poet and writer Roger McGough. Audio memories could be powerful, just the sound of a tune can take you back in time. And this spooky tune, played at the start of Picture Box, certainly well, shows this. Do you think that the headless horseman was a real what show? was a totally forgettable 15-minute piece of cheap educational TV intended for schools unintentionally became a scary memory that even now will haunt those of a certain age. Why do you think he kept listening? It should be noted, though, that there's an alternative satirical today. version on YouTube, and I put the link in the description below, that might give you more nightmares than the original. Goodbye.